In this episode, I want to cover setting up the web authentication on App Engine Flex with Node.js server. So, I'm going to be showing how to wire up Firebase on the client. So, to get started, I'll create a Firebase web app, then I'll hop over and check out the Firebase web UI, and I'll use those components to create the login HTML and success HTML. So, to get started, I'm going to move along over to the Firebase site. In the first episode, I created a dev at a dev sandbox for my Android project. In this episode, I want to cover creating a web app. So I'm going to hit add and I'm going to select web this time. So I want to copy this script and copy it and put it in my HTML page. But before I do that, I want to pop open the getting started for Firebase web apps. I just want to note real quick that there are more features that you can copy these scripts from the CDN and paste them in. By the way, just note that you might want to increment the minor versions of the scripts up to the latest. In this case, it'll be 374. So uh, I'm going to hop back to the Firebase site. But before I want to copy this, I want to go to the Firebase UI for web. So there's a nice way of doing it. They've already created the buttons and the wiring and the process of login. So I'm going to scroll down to the template I want to copy and that's starting the sign in flow. And I'm going to call this my login. So I want to copy from doc type down to the end of the HTML tag. So if you look, you, I'll need to replace this component with the configuration I just showed you earlier. But before I do that, let's go to, to VS Code and we'll create a new page. So new file, login.html, and I'm gonna paste in the contents of this page. So there's a, a section I want to remove this note section and I wanna paste in my Firebase configuration. So I'll go back to the Firebase site where I had those credential or the, the configuration lined up and I'm gonna press copy. And then I'm gonna go back to the Firebase Oop, not that's not where I want to go. I want to go to VS Code and paste in their credentials. So you can see that the core JS script is included for Firebase. I could include the other. Let's do that just to show how that's done. Okay, back to the Firebase setting up guide, and I'm going to copy these files. I'm going to paste them in while I'm in there doing copy and pasting and I'm gonna increment the minor version. I don't know if I'll use these features on this page. This is just to show what you would do to include the other features for the tutorial. Okay, so now I'm gonna save this. I've got the page already, and now I want to add a success page. And if you look down in the configuration, there's a sign in success URL, and I want to replace this with success. So I'm gonna go success, Dot HTML for the path. Well, I'm not going to say absolute. I'm going to remove absolute and just say success HTML. Okay, so now I'm going to create a file new success success.html. Okay, so I need the contents for this. So I'm going to go copy the boilerplate that they've already created or template. And that's the second code chunk. I'm going to go ahead and copy this with Command C on my Mac and then paste in the contents. Well, at the top, I've got to replace this section again. Well, it, this could be a nice, easy one-liner to paste in a JS file, but I'm going to paste in the contents. So I'm going to go to the login and copy this section again and just paste in the contents. Now, like I said before, you don't need all these unless you're using these APIs and features in the APIs. Okay, so my configuration's there, and then there's some output and you can look at firebase.auth and then when auth is changed it will print out the user information now this is just for effect there's a lot of features and ways to configure this and i'm not going to cover all those today and i'll show you this how it's wired up on the web page so let's just verify we have the login let's go to the success sign in go we'll go to success url and the success.html which and that will output. So let's go ahead and run the project to go to the debug button and press run. So this will start up the Node.js server and it will be listening on 8080. So let's go to the website by looking up localhost 8080. 
Okay, so 8080, and I want to go to the login.html page. And there we go, sign in to Google. So let me click on sign in to Google. Oops, I need to set one more configuration parameter in the Firebase console. And by the way, the Facebook and Twitter and GitHub and email, I'm not going to talk about those signing. They, they take a little bit longer to sign up because you got to go set up a project on e each one of these sites and configure the OAuth settings. And I won't cover those in this video. So, but I will cover how to get Google wired up. So I'm going to go to the back to the Firebase console, close this dialog and go to the authentication section. So in the sign in methods tab, there are all the features that you can turn on. They're turned off by default. I'm going to turn on Google by just en enabling it and clicking save. And you can see Google is now enabled. So I'll go back to the Firebase site, reload the page, click on sign in. And now since I already have authentication credentials in my system, it went right to the page. And now I can see that Brandon Donaldson and there's my email and all the goodies that I could use for my web application and provide a neat application experience and I don't have to spend any time on wiring up all the security features and a good secure sign-in system. I can use Firebase. Well that was slick. So let's review the process. So I started out with a Firebase overview and I've already created an Android app and then I went to create a web app. Now it doesn't persist a card here for that. You just press uh, web and it will give you the resources and configuration to copy to put into your site. But before I did that, I went to the Firebase UI and I'll include this link down below in the video description. I went to this, scrolled down to the templates they've already created. Now this is great because I can kind of copy paste what I want and reconfigure it how I want in my app. So this is a quick way to get going. So I copied the login and then the second section was success. So where do I land on success? And maybe I land back on the same page. So both of these, these code snippets could exist in a web app. It, maybe that web app is one page and not many. So in this case, I've made many, uh, many pages just to show the effect. So then I went to VS Code and this is my server configuration and here's my resources in the public directory. And by the way, that's another video on how to create a public directory on Node.js and see that in my cloud tools playlist. So the login I created, I copied and pasted the template. I removed the section they told me to paste in and I pasted the config, but I also added the other resources, assuming I might have a big web app with all these features that I want to implement from it. And then I incremented the minor versions and then I created the success. But before I did that, I changed the sign in success URL and then I created and pasted the success and replaced that same section. Once I was done with that, I ran the server, but I also enabled the sign in method. So let's just review that real quick one more time. We'll go to the authentication section and navigate. As you can see, here's the user authenticated and it shows me the user of my app. So I could actually um, remove them or disable the account and do some fancy things here. And I went to the sign in method and sign in. Well, here's the Facebook. I won't cover this in this section or this video. You could, you'll have to go to their websites and set up a project and then come back and enable it here. Okay, so that concludes this video for today on how to set up the Firebase web authentication on a Node.js server. Thanks for watching and follow me for more tips and tricks and I'll catch you later.